Well, it's officially 2018 and um, as it's the new year, I wanted to make a video reflecting on the most memorable moments of 2017. Um, I said in my most recent video that 2017 was a good year for me as I've kind of worked on a lot of personal goals and I even went to America. I don't want to go more into depth with the whole America thing and kind of reflect on how the trip was because I never really mentioned it in a video. Um, so as you guys may have been aware, most of you guys anyway, on the 23rd of August, I went from Ireland or Dublin, Ireland to um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, I talked about it a lot coming up to the trip, and thinking back at it, it's probably one of the the, the best 10 days of my life. Um, and I'm really hoping something like that can happen again in the future. I was really thinking about doing something um, really cool in May. I was hoping if I have enough money to go over to Dallas, Texas, for a horror convention. Um, but by the looks of it, I won't have the money. I'll have like I do have the money to get from here to Dallas and get a hotel but I don't think I have enough you know to survive five days in, in America because I want to have a decent amount of money so that I can actually do stuff and and you know meet a few different people and you know buy cool items over there that I, I can bring back home but I don't think it's going to happen so it's just something I was thinking about and I'm really thinking about exploring more of America even if it's like like really short term going for like two day trips is I was looking online and I could you could literally go to New York City for like 400 400 euro that's coming back at, which that's going over and coming back and like if you want to go for a few days and I was thinking like if I went to New York City alone right I could probably get tickets for about 400 euro and then probably stay in a hostel for like three or four days for about 100 quid and then 500 would be to spend because that's that's I have the money for that like I'd be able to afford that, but the thing is, I don't want to go to New York City alone because it's such a big place, and I'd like to experience that with somebody else, and I wouldn't want to, you know, go on my own. But um, yeah, that's the kind of cool thing about you know, like going on your own too. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, but New York isn't a very. It doesn't seem like a very safe place to go to, and I wouldn't want to risk you know going and getting like mugged at nighttime or something. Maybe if any of you guys are from New York, you might be able to tell me otherwise. But like. You know what I mean? This is probably a bit dangerous to go on your own. Um, although I'm kind of up for that, I'm, I'm I'm excited to do whatever. Really, um, I don't really care too much. I just want to be like stupid and do something I'm gonna regret. Um, but to go back to more of the Philadelphia story, I'm gonna talk a bit more about what happened. Um, so I also actually got my first two or first tattoo over in Philadelphia by a guy named Evan Void, um, <clears throat> and he doing my original tattoo is on the the inner side of my arm. Um, he done a reaper with, um, by the looks of it, uh, some sort of leaf, uh, some sort of stick with a leaf, like a, a branch with a leaf, um, with some leaves on it, and he done some stars, traditional looking stars. Um, he done a moon, a half of moon, and it's a really traditional looking tattoo, and I really like it. Um, I have pictures on screen too now, and the second tattoo he done the day before me and my friend left to come back home. He done um, an alien reaper with holding a sight, holding the head of a reaper too. Um, the thing I find really cool about this is, I know it's kind of random too, if I turn off all my lights and the blue LED from my computer, because I have a blue LED strip, in my, in my, well, I have a, it's like it's different colors, um, but if I have it on blue and I turn the lights off in my room, so the only light shining in is the blue, then the eyes actually turn from yellow to red, which I think is pretty fucking cool. Um, don't get me wrong, it's it's like random to say, but it's cool as fuck. And a, a thing I do want to do in the future too is I'm getting a tattoo done um, on the 18th of January, which is coming up in about 18 days now. And I'm going for a horror team style because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of horror. I love like a lot, the Halloween, the Friday the 13th, Jace, the Friday series, sorry, the, the Nightmare series, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love all, like, a lo not all horror, I love a load of horror movies. I'd even like to get something like Jeepers Creepers on there too. One day, like, I just love to go all out with that. But I won't fit that all on my right arm. Um, because I'm leaving my left arm for, like, random stuff, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to just add too much shit there. I want to kind of leave it and build that over time and I go for a patch leave. But with my right arm, I'm dedicating all to, like, the horror movies I love. Which would be Halloween, Friday the 13th, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, and probably Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, the one thing I do, I do want to stress to the artist too, which I mentioned to him, and I have already mentioned to him, is that I'm not looking to really go for the character. I'm, I'm not looking to get Michael on my arm. I'm not looking to get Jason or Freddy. I'm looking to get like um, scenery, like maybe Michael's house, um, the lake with the, the Camp Crystal Lake sign, and um, I don't know, maybe Freddy's like house or something I, I don't know what to do with that I think with that but 
if you, if you kind of go, I'm trying to paint a picture for you. I'm not really looking to go for the character. I would get them on, like I'd get the, what they look like on my arm too, 100%. But um, I think I'd much rather the idea of having like the scenery around it. And that's something I really want to do. And I'm, I'm going to get that done soon, like less than a month, which is crazy. Um, it's going to cost a lot of money too. So um, it's awesome, really. Um, but yeah, it's been a great year so far. I went to Philadelphia. Which was a breeze to get through, guys, by the way. I mean, the, 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 the US customs in Ireland, it took us eight, like about an hour and a half in the line. And it was oh, every, everyone was so warm in the line. And people started handing out bottles of water because I was thirsty as hell. And I drank mine really fast. But we eventually got through. I had to do the fingerprint scanner. They asked you a few questions. We got through that pretty easy. And then we hopped on the plane, got to Philadelphia. We just walked, for, we got off, boarded the plane, um, went, went to Philadelphia, got off the plane got our bags and walked out no questions from anybody which is unbelievable i don't understand that you can just get off the plane and just leave i, I, I didn't think that it works like that obviously boarding the plane is completely different um boarding the plane was a bit of a, a struggle because there was a few problems with my name um my boarding pass and my passport had the names differently uh they didn't have thomas my i have my whole name on my birth cert but the boarding pass only had my name and my, my surname or my first name and my surname so it was kind of a, a bit of an issue and eventually it got through anyway but it looked like it was going to be an issue there and I was kind of worried about that but Philadelphia was great the city is beautiful guys when you're from Philadelphia and you've never seen Center City it's a beautiful place and you should definitely go I, I think you would have though I don't I don't think people live in Philly but you don't, don't go to the city park it's, it's great it's honestly amazing to be there um, especially staying for 10 days I can't even believe it was 10 days at this point it, it felt like it was like merged into like four days or something uh, this flew by like I went to the National Museum of Art was is it even national I don't know I went to the Museum of Art um, I went to the Liberty Bell I didn't even see the Liberty Bell because it was closed at that point but I sat in the in the park and oh man great weather it was like 30 degrees in the days I was boiling guys an Irish kid in Philadelphia doesn't go well because you're just too fucking warm you can't do anything like I got my tattoo and I was I was roasting like it was killing me I feel like the, the sun was making it so much worse and I was wearing like sleeveless tops all the time and it was just a really bad mix but you know what who even cares I, say, I don't regret that at all but yeah I came back to Ireland and all was good no trouble getting in really um, it's, just, it's kind of sad being back again because I miss being in America it's really weird to say um, but I do miss it a lot and I'm th I am hoping to go back soon even if it's going over on my own for a short trip like I would do that happily um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I will be making more videos over the next few days and it will be more of me just randomly talking and t just talking about different subjects and stuff so for any of you guys who are looking for glitching videos and modern videos I'm sorry that's not me anymore and feel free to unsubscribe and, and whatever if, if you guys want to stay and keep listening to the videos then be sure to do that I really appreciate it um, other than that guys have a fantastic day and happy new year to everybody I hope you have a good day uh, have, have a good new year, sorry. Um, as this year should be hopefully good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. I think that she knows ya. My girl don't want me, cause all of my stories. And I think that she knows ya. I think that she knows ya. I like the song, I'm feeling her body. And I think that she knows ya. And I think that she knows ya. I'm moving slow motion. I'm going off that broccoli. And my girl is savage. She said, sit back and watch me. She hot like wasabi and wet like the sunny. I think that she knows. Yeah, I think that she knows. But to keep it a hundred, I don't assume I suppose. I'm just taking these shots. I don't miss my free throws. And I keep the pre rolls. Then I mix the Tito's. But I'm like a zombie. I'm all on that body, but rule number one is we don't wipe no thotties, I can teach you.